All right, it's 5 a.m. Friday morning. Light snow in the air. And uh, let's take an adventure. <laughs> loaded not loaded sleds in the trailer all right here we are day one Mont Laurier. and uh beautiful morning cold uh my battery struggled a bit and we uh just gave her a little boost and we're ready to hit the road or trail for that matter do you want to bring this gary uh yeah we can put it back here where it's safe and secure all right, day one, Quebec. Going for a little rip. The boys are up the road a bit. Gonna get some gas and then head out. Head out. What's the outside temperature this morning? It was minus 18. Oh, that didn't work very good, did it? Let's see if we can get a couple kilometers in before the next. Yeah, no kidding, right? There we go. On our way. I promise. Watch this guy turning here. Oh, nicely groomed. Look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. Great day. It's cool, you can see us on each other on the map. Yeah. When we spread out. Very cool. The boys are pretty quiet today. And the oxygen's not plugged in. You're fast today. I know, this is bad. Once I get going though, I'm good. It's the first. It's the first kilometer. <laughs> oh, it's the first half me. hour. That's the best. Yeah, then you're good. It's amazing how immediately the oxygen helmet turns on, right? Two of them. This is awesome. Got a car waiting to come. Very cool. Very cool. Ever neat. Territory here. Yeah, those bridges are pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, you just dropped something, Gary. What the? Uh, it is. Yeah, That's I'll probably all that was left in there. Have you got it? Yep. Because I moved Grant's battery pack into the other bag. I'm telling you that 
My Brad Scavenger Hunt 2023. <laughs> if, I told, if I told you how much I loved you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> every day, do you know? Every day. I love you. I love you so much because you make stoners look good. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Go back and get drunk. I told Dino, you know, it's the first couple kilometers, and then once I get my myself figured out... Once you lose everything, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> How many yard sales have you done this year and last year? Uh, that was my first one this year. Yeah. Last year was, I think, three. Nice. And you lost the whole bag too, didn't you? Yeah, that's the first one, and I lost the contents of the of the, <laughs> of the pack twice. So oh, this is for if those are home keeping track. <laughs> Serving fuel. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Granny looking out the window at us. Wait, wait. Look at there's a naked guy up there in the top haunted. right room. Yeah, the house is haunted. There's bodies in that basement. <laughs> oh, there is a naked guy up there. There is. <laughs> hey, if you got it, flaunt it, Grant. Yeah. Good lord, we're in, we're in freaking Stratford. They set those mountains. So you can see past the handlebar? Look at that view, boys. I know. Yeah. Just crazy view. That was cool through there. We just went through a real swoopy section, lots of trees, ups and downs. That was oh. me. That was made for sport mode. It was. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. <laughs> Perfect. That was really cool. I took it in comfort because that's just the kind of guy I am. Grant missing his calm. Oh no. Ah. Yeah, we missed you, Grant. You missed, you missed all the good Grant stories. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. There was this time at band camp. Go ahead, Dave. He stuck a flute in his. <laughs> also, you heard. No shortage of snow here. Yeah. Yeah. Now 
we gotta get some drive-by footage. Yeah. On the video, he won't mow it. Yeah. Like, you know, like stop it for a sec, go slow mo. Yep. This is amazing. Okay, yeah. Yep. It's clear we should have, maybe we should have went to that lookout, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. We might get a day like this tomorrow, too. Tomorrow will be cloudy and snowy. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Tomorrow, Moto Nash. Truck coming down the hill. This must be where. It's, I don't know which way it's telling me to go. I think to the right. I say to the right, but it's not showing me on the map. Yeah, but like to the right. we, we come back through here. And then we come back through here. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the the Petite uh, Train Noir oh. or P Petite Train Nord? It's an abandoned rail line that goes from here to Tremblant. It says it's right here on the sign. Petite Train Nord. Yeah, that's the one. So I did a video on this uh, this trail. I brought my mountain bike on one of the shows I did. Brought it up here, rode down here. And the thing, like, it didn't really go anywhere to start. Then it yeah. went, then it started getting tons of views. Well, you can see who links your video, right? far I went but the uh, it goes from Tremblant I can't remember the other name of the town it goes to holy sh smoke Flat coming I didn't bring any water. I got some we can. <laughs> I got granola bars, I got beef jerky. Beef jerky time. So we have a 2022 XRS uh, 850. Grant has his uh, 1200X 2016 2023 XRS 850 and another 2023 XRS 850. So Grant, did you hear me tell about my mountain biking on this trail? Yeah. How far did you go? I think 20 kilometers up and 20, from Tremblant and 20 back. I think I was trying to get to Mont Laurier, but I never made it. But I think this stuff, this area that back there looked familiar. So I might have been. It just depends on how close we are to Tremblant. I know there's a big lake coming up on the right. And that's right before our Tremblant. Market of some sort. Yeah. Market or something. Yeah. I wonder if they still use this. Other side. Uh, oh. That's pretty impressive, though.
Maybe it wasn't this far. I don't recognize this. It's dusty back here, right, Dino? What's that? It's dusty back here. Yes, it is. It wasn't so bad in some of the tighter bush trails earlier. Right. This, this last half hour or so, it was pretty dusty at the back. I'm kind of driving into it, too. Oh. Yeah, that comes up out of the dust. Oh, fuck! It was just a slow fall in. This is why you should ride and shouldn't ride beyond your limits, kids. I get see if you can get the back end right up on that hill. One, two, three. There we go. That might do it. If you stand on this side, you still should pull up on the ski though to guide it this way. So Corey and I have never been to Quebec. Grant has not been to Quebec. Dino's been, but not to this area. Um, we were planning a trip to Cochrane and watching the weather and then caught wind that it was a uh, free weekend this weekend in Quebec. So you don't have to buy a freeloader weekend. A freeloader weekend. You don't have to pay for a permit. Just go on their website and order the the free the freeloader permit and uh, print it out, put it in your backpack, or keep it on your phone and and you're riding. You know, I don't know. We were quite a, quite a few hours closer to here than we would be to go to Cochrane. ATVs really uh, do a number on the trail. Oh, they chew it right up, don't they? But I think we were, you know, about, supposed to be a seven hour drive, but weather was not permitting, so uh, we're cock would be nine hours or more. So it was a better, uh, better overall drive here. Lots of snow. Trails are our style, too. We were talking about it. Some, some straight fast and lots of elevation changes and twists and turns through the forest with views like what you see out the, uh, the port side window or sorry the starboard side window What's that? Yeah. Your came in handy. I know. Driving along, la la la, woo. And then all of a sudden, and you hit the brakes. Whoa, that was close. Don't tell Dino. <laughs> Did you almost pile into the back of me? I'll, uh, I'll delete. The, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'll delete that part. Now let's see what happens when you're driving with the other guys. <laughs> Oh my god, we're burning alive! I always wonder who makes the trail, who figures out where they go and how they start, you know? Yeah. How long they've been here? Yeah. Was it just a logging trail that, you know, skitters drag shit out of the first time and then they made it into the sled trail or. It'd be 
pretty. Uh, if you had to plot it and you're looking out through brush like that, it's uh, right. It's like pick a, pick a pick a spot. And let's cut. Yeah. Start felling trees. side get it cross-eyed Dino has to appreciate that one cross -eyed. it's called the cross-eyed ah, man I can't believe the conditions right <laughs> Great warming hut. This is what we need in New Dundee. Yep. See the LED light? Are those uh, are those words on the other side of the sign too? Right in uh, a restaurant can take us to it. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole bunch in like four kilometers. Oh, cool. You might want. Holy. With kid on the back too. That guy was sideways. And fucking 12 inches from my elbow. Ramrod. He was proud. sideways. The guys are from the French part of the, the Drumble part of Quebec. <laughs> the Drumble. That was, <laughs> that was furry. It's called Drumbo. Look at them. This place is cool, man. It is. So think you can do exactly what we're doing today by quad here. Freaking cool. There's a yellow G G5. Yeah, the first one I've seen. Stop here. Yeah. That is the first yellow one I've seen on the trail. I checked out this Skidoo. 700, he's got I support freedom nice. sticker on the side. We're going for gas. That's amazing. Oh my goodness.
nice sunset. Oh, it's yeah. going to be beautiful.